Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing Jeremy's, a Jeremy Scott jacket from Spring Summer 15 for Adidas with kind of the cab yellow color uh, logo on the back and a white little horse t-shirt in the front. And I'm going to talk to you about um, this little baby. Let me take it out. I'm going to talk to you about the uh, small double flat classic. Now, I've done a review on it already. The Chanel Losing everything here. Let's take it out of its prison or its golden cage, as we like to say, right? There. So, this is the baby we're going to talk about today the small double flap, timeless classic. Why? Because I have a lovely, lovely, lovely lady here, Anne Baxter, who writes me, who wrote me a comment um, on uh, YouTube saying, <clears throat> Hi there. I love your Chanel. Thank you, Anne. Um, and your videos, thank you for making them. I had a quick question about you. Well, thank you for watching them. I had a quick question about your Chanel small in caviar featured in your video. What made you decide to choose the small model A01113 or 1113 over the medium 1112 size? Also, I've had a look in Chanel boutiques in Australia and Asia, and the small is hard to find. It seems the medium is more popular. What was your experience when you purchased your small? Was it easy to find, and did they have a lot in stock? Can you recommend where I can find the small, as it's always sold out in stores? Thank you, and keep up the good work. Kisses. Thank you, and Thank you so much for the lovely comment and the question. Um... It was a really long process, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, I wrote you a long answer in the comment section, but I think this deserves a, a video as well, because a lot of people have been asking. Um, because this, you know, the small doesn't get a lot of love. Again, and I repeat this, I always say this because it, it's the smallest. You know, this is the smallest of the Chanel uh, classic double flaps. Um, hence, it's the most expensive. You know, it's just like the pure perfume is always more expensive in a smaller bottle in 15 ml. Uh, it's gonna be comparatively more expensive than buying a 200 milliliter eau de toilette. Um, to me, the Maxi is kind of like the eau de, you know, eau de Cologne, and the Jumbo is eau de toilette, the Medium is the eau de parfum, and this is the parfum. This is the size, I mean, this bag in this shape, exact shape did not exist during Chanel's life, but, this is the size that Chanel wore. I mean, this is the Chanel, this is the Chanel size, the classic Chanel bag that she had with, you know, the Mademoiselle lock, not the double C lock. She was a small lady, and this is kind of the elegance that she had. You know, she would wear it like this, or she would, you know, pull the chain and then wear it across her shoulder. It's about proportions again, I say. Now, to me, it was worth it because I do not want a big bag. I have the GST extra large for that purpose, for like and a big you know, a container bag. This is a proportion bag. This is not a weekend bag. Uh, this is not something you should stuff. It has to keep this, you know, its silhouette. I mean, of course, now it's empty, but you know, it can open up a little bit, but this is this is the size of this bag. Like that's that's what it is. And that's what it stays, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to, you know, hold your bare essentials. Now, why was it hard to get this bag? Because everybody's reviewing the jumbos. So for a long time, I was, you know, looking into getting the jumbo, but um, having the jumbo in, in hand, it, it yeah, it, it fits. I mean, proportion-wise with the body and all, the jumbo definitely fits, but it's just not, it's chunky in a way for me. And I wanted something that's, that's more symbolic. Uh, and this is definitely it. Once I had this one, I didn't even see it, you know, at a certain point, uh, my essay, you know, said, you know, Jacob, if you want, we have also other ones. And um, I'm like, well, okay, bring in everything you got. So the first one I saw was the medium. And I felt, you know, proportion-wise, it was a bit elongated. It was a bit longer. And I kind of wanted it to be this, to have these proportions, and that's the small. And then she, she brought me a small in lambskin, which I fell in love with instantaneously. It was just like a yeah, perfection because, you know, what I do a lot is I wear it, Cross, cross body like shoulder and then it just hangs here like a fanny pack in a way I love that so much it makes it even more androgynous and more unisex so this is the size to go for guys as well definitely just to wear it like here it's so fresh and young and new I, I love doing that and I also wear it as a chain I literally just put this you know put pull one chain and wear it around my neck and let it hang when I don't have zippers that could damage the bag of course only when I wear crew necks 
Uh, but um, so the lambskin, and that was the only lambskin. She only had one, and in lambskin, she said, you know, it was really rare, actually, that we get this. We get it like maybe once, twice a year. And I took it, but then when I came home, I noticed that it, there was a slight flaw in it. It was like slightly, I don't know, like bent because this part was stitched like half a millimeter to the side, hence preventing it from staying straight. It annoyed the hell out of me. So I took it back and I was really sad because I mean, it was like right before the markup. So I had to be really quick. So I took it back and I said, I don't know what to do guys, because I really, really am dreaming of a mate in France on top of it all. And um, the small and the medium are always made in France. As of now, things may change any day. You know how it is with Chanel. The jumbo is usually made in Italy. Most of them are made in Italy. Maxi, I don't know. I think also mostly Italy. But so um, another one of her colleagues, another essay, also a really lovely lady. She's like, uh, because I brought back, you know, I was with my lambskin there. I was like, I don't know what to do at this point and uh, what to do. And I was, you know, it was just all a mess. And then she said, well, we got uh, a caviar in. Uh, I was like, oh, I wanted the cat. I, I wanted the caviar. <laughs> I actually wanted to see it. This was like days or weeks ago. Um, and they got it in and thankfully I saw it. It's perfect. No flaw whatsoever. And so I got the caviar. Now, um, that having said that, it was luck because they don't have them. I mean, I just called them to check. They don't have them anymore. So you got to be lucky, I guess. But then again, you know, I was going through LA, Beverly Hills, went to a couple of Chanel boutiques there to, you know, just to see what the stocks are, what, what they have, what they don't have. And they say that, you know, in America, particularly, the Wallet on Chain is extremely popular. So are the Jumbos. The Wallet on Chain has a humongous waiting list. They don't even sell them to you via phone, credit card. You got to go into the store at that moment when it's available and purchase it. But these babies, the smalls, are there in stock. People aren't buying them because they're extremely expensive compared to the size. But then again, to me, you're not paying for just the material. Unfortunately, it is what it is. You're also paying for the brand. And of course, um, this is my personal choice. I love the small. I think it's just the perfect, perfect statement bag for you. The GST is for the ginormous size for stuffing it with stuff. Why get a jumbo and stuff it? It's not elegant. But anyway, to each his own. Um, so in America, I mean, apparently in LA, they're available uh, in, uh, you know, sufficient quantities. Asia and Australia, I have heard uh, difficulties in, in finding these babies. Like, it's not that easy to get them. They're out of stock. But because, again, they're not so popular, they're not, they're, that, it's not that they are out of stock because uh, people purchase them, I think. Rather, the boutiques do not order them. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm, because, as I said before, there's there's like hardly any videos on on the small double flap out there um but it's definitely my preference and and i got lucky i was in the right spot at the right time and they had it and i i opted for the caviar because at the end of the day it was just i don't know it was just perfect and i'm so happy i did that now that i've been after having purchased this, you know, I've traveled a bit around and I'm so happy about the size because I can take it everywhere I go. You know, with the limitations you have with luggage, the this and the that. And, you know, I always take a trolley with me um, on board and then I would never put this in my giveaway uh, stowaway or whatever luggage. This comes with me. And if a really cheap air company or whatever happens to just allow me one piece of carry-on luggage and I take my trolley with me, this is so small, it fits perfectly within the trolley and other stuff goes in it too. Um, jumbo wouldn't fit. It wouldn't be possible to do it. So I would end up leaving it at home most of the time. But this one always goes with me. I'll, Always, when I travel, this baby go. This baby goes with me, and that's something that I like a lot about it. I like that, you know, a product ends up being used, especially if it's a luxury product that you know you invested some money in and you spent a lot of money and you you know you you've worked really hard on getting. You have to enjoy it, and I love 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 having this with me. So it's definitely worth the while waiting. If if you want a jumbo, you want a jumbo. There's no changing your mind, obviously. But if, you're, if you want the small and you're having difficulties finding it, it's worth the wait, especially if you're also looking for um, a made in France bag. They're all made in France. I haven't seen one made in Italy yet. In lambskin or caviar black with gold hardware or silver hardware for that matter. So 
that's that's a definite plus for me. Um, does it fit a lot of stuff? No, it doesn't fit a lot of stuff, but it does fit your essentials. I mean, it could fit a perfume, a lipstick, it can fit your wallet, you know, it can fit sunglasses if you're not putting them inside of their package, their box, the, the box that contains them. And uh, yeah, documents, coins, the famous love letters compartment can fit really tiny, skinny love letters. Um, more like um, fortune cookies than than uh, than other things. So that's that's that. That's for that's as far as that goes. Uh, what the yeah. And again, medium compared to the small, I would definitely go for the small because of the overall proportions of it. The medium does tend to be a little bit elongated compared to the height. This one is more kind of boxy. It's more. To me, it's more chanel -y and being more boxy, it kind of makes it more androgynous or unisex to me. This is just my way of thinking. That's also why I love, uh, you know, the, the boxy feel of the GST as well. Although with the GST, I went with the extra large, which is more elongated, but that's like a shopping bag. So it's a different, totally different story. But uh, this is how it looks. And uh, if, if you are in love with the small, it's worth the wait waiting. Contact the SA in your Chanel boutique, the one closest to you. Talk to them about your desire to purchase one. They might even have, you know, waiting lists. If they like you, they're definitely going to write your name down on their personal private little notepad or notebook or whatever they have. And if they know that you're going to really purchase the product once it, it gets into the store, they will definitely go through the effort to keep an eye out for you, for the bag, for you. And then they will contact you once it's there. They're going to give a, you know, you're going to get that amazing phone call when it rings. You're like, hello, is this? And they come here and they're like, yes, it's Chanel Boutique. Your bag has arrived. And then you're going to be like, woo. And then you're going to, you know, it's going to be a great experience. So it's worth the wait. I waited a long time till I even, I even waited a long time till I figured out that actually this is the size for me. So there you go. Hope you liked this video. Hope it, I hope it helped a little. Um, leave me comments in the comment section below. If you have any other questions, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Love you. Thank you all for watching. Oh my God. Love you. Thank you all for watching. I'm losing my power of speech. My tongue is melted. Thank you everybody for watching. Love you. Bye. I think I interrupted it like before it actually could cut. No? So again, thank you all for watching. Love you. Bye. <laughs> these videos. You know, the stop buttons, the play push buttons, it's always a mess.